Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look and review of something new. Google Chrome version 79 was released today, uh, Tuesday, December the 10th, 2019. And there's a few interesting things in the latest version of Google Chrome that are being pushed. Some of you still won't see some of the options and um, I'm missing one but that apparently is rolling out to everybody. And of course, you have uh, some of the other options that you can actually turn on that are kind of interesting. So what's uh, actually new in the uh, Chrome 79 browser? Well, first of all, in your Chrome 79 browser, when you are actually uh, syncing on your device, so sync and Google devices, there's a built-in password tool now. Uh, the built-in password tool is there to uh, manage what's happening with your um, passwords and with your settings. So when you are actually in the password, one of the settings that you will see, I don't have it. It will be actually released slowly, apparently, to everybody. So one day you'll have an update and it's going to be there. What you'll see is check password safety. There's going to be that that's just going to be above the uh, between the offer to save passwords and auto sign in. In between here, you will see an option called check password safety. And what that will do is actually warn you when a password has a problem. So if your username and password is exposed, by an, another, uh, by a company's data breach, a third-party company of some kind, uh, when you sign into a website, and so on, they will now check it out and let you know that there's a problem. Maybe you should be changing that password, and so on. There's real-time blacklisting of bad sites. Uh, in the past, and for a long time, one of the things that would happen is that every 30 minutes, roughly there was a updated list. Chrome was, you know, downloading a list of known bad sites. And of course, when you would go there, it would warn you that that site is bad. But starting with this release, Chrome 79, apparently um, you will get a new option in the sync and Google services section that will allow users to enable the scanning of bad sites in real time. So apparently this is an option that will be available uh, starting today and this of course uh, has to do with uh, sync of um, your services so let's check it out here other Google services you should have uh, here we go safe browsing protects you from other uh, from your device from dangerous sites so this needs to be enabled and you need to enable another one which is make searches and browsing better so it will send URLs and of the pages you visit to Google. And this is in the settings and the uh, sync and Google services option. So uh, this is an, an interesting uh, new feature that you will see here. What else? Predictive phishing for everyone. What that means is that starting with Chrome 79, an added feature for security is that it will actually warn users when they might be entering passwords or suspected phishing sites. So you might be on a site that is, say, a banking site, and the site looks like your real bank. You don't notice. You haven't looked at the uh, address and the address bar or, any, or the U URL. Well, you will actually be warned. It's going to tell you, I think this is not a great place. And it says your password may be compromised. Box will actually appear. There'll be a warning for HTTPS mixed content. What's mixed content? It's a page where it says that it's HTTPS, so it's secure, but that embedded within the page, there's unsecure items, an ad, for example. So you'll be warned when that happens. There's a new feature called tab freezing that is not on by default. It's still experimental, but what you could uh, do is go into flags, uh, Chrome, uh, colon, forward slash forward slash flags search for proactive and you will see something that is called proactive tab freeze and you can enable that what that does is that if you are 
using tabs. So you see here I have several tabs on the top of the window here. Well, if one of those tabs or some of those tabs haven't been used for more than five minutes, it will unload the tabs from RAM and remove them from the CPU usage, kind of giving more power to the other tabs and whatever other things you might be doing with your computer. You will also have a uh, cache if you want. So in experiments, once again, a caching of back and forward buttons. What that means is that everything you go through forward or backward will be cached so that if you need to go back, instead of reloading the page from the web, it will actually get the page from the cache within your computer. So these are some of the new features of the uh, Google Chrome browser. And uh, there will be also a little cosmetic change for users profile drop down section uh, that has a visual and a different visual look, uh, basically. Uh, usually, uh, you, you kind of updated that look uh, if you want. So these are all the little things that you can actually check out in the Google Chrome web browser. And remember, uh, Google Chrome is updated to version 79. If you don't know if you have it or if you want to see if you have it, upper three, upper uh, three vertical dots in the upper right corner, go into help, go into about Google Chrome. This will check for the version if you haven't been there. It's going to update it automatically. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.